days. I'm still caught in my same. Anyways, I took a couple weeks off from work just to clear my head, and I had went up to Fresno to um to do some landscaping work with my uncle and his company, and uh, we were doing In-N-Out burgers out there, doing all the landscape, and uh, that's a West Coast chain, yeah, <laughs> if you know. Yeah. So uh, we frequented the yeah. West. But uh, we were out there, and you know, we had been there for a couple of days, and um, and uh, you know, we thought we should find a local church to go hang out at, and, and just fellowship and worship. And uh, we went to this old Calvary Chapel, it was a little Calvary Chapel. There's barely anybody in there. It was on a Wednesday night, and um, Love and I were sitting there, and my uncle, and just worshiping. And then, uh, you know, down the aisle comes. Uh, Jeff Ballou, the bass player, and um, oh, he's gonna kill me. And the drummer for Crucified, they walk in, and that's where they happen to fellowship wow. at that church. And uh, and I would just, we were, I was starstruck, you know, because <laughs> I'm remembering the night that how much I desired to sing with them that night, and you know, what an impact they had on my life at that point, not knowing anything about. Christian music or right. just I just saw four guys up there singing their hearts for the Lord and that's what made a difference in my, in my at that moment for me but uh, we had church and we ended up going talking with them and kind of just meeting them and anyways that day Wolf and I went back to the hotel and wrote our first lyrics to a song and I told him I said I want to be in your band man because I want to that's what I want to do I want to I want to play shows like you guys play. I want to, I want my friends to see something different. You know, people, they're already going to think we're crazy because we're living for Jesus, but now they're going to think we're even crazy because we play this kind of music, you know. Right. And, uh, but I wanted to do it and, you know, my heart has always been first so that my friends would see a difference in us and my neighborhood would see a difference in us. And then, you know, if the opportunity ever came about that we would go outside our community, outside our neighborhood and and play our crazy music, but with the intent, you know, of letting God touch their lives through our music, whether it's something we said whether, or whether it was just the rhythm of the guitar, you know. And uh, that's where P.O.D. comes from, from my point of view, but the heart has always been the same from every single member, you know, and as we talked before, things change and things happen, but things change and things happen because if if the focus changes, then well, that that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Our focus, no matter what we do and what we've gone through in 14 years, for us is to always direct people towards the cross. Now it's just finding ways and sticking to those ways and doing that. But I know I speak for the guys when. You know, I say that they wouldn't do this if, if they didn't believe that God was doing something. And, you know, through the journey that we've been through, it's been wild, it's been crazy, new experiences, and we've learned so much, we've matured in many ways. You know, we've had our glories, our mistakes, but through all those, to this day, from the beginning to the end, our heart is, to, is that people would still know Jesus and that they would come to Him in their own personal way. And that God would reveal Himself in only the way that He can, and not the way that we can do it as musicians or what we do as just believers. But you know, that's uh, that's that's my story in a nutshell. What's crazy about what you just said is it's like uh, you're just you're just on this, you're just in life living. It. But it, in every other believer in the world, has been through those turns and twists right. in their own way. It's just yours is on camera. Yeah. Yours true. is on tape. Everybody sees it and yeah. everybody puts you up there. But Well that's that that's my thing too, is that at first I think coming from such an extreme side in the world and then becoming a Christian and you still have those qualities, you know. Of course. We extreme all qualities and you go out with that intensity and you know, you, you you learn from that, you know what I mean? And and at first we came off and it was like, we're going to tell people about what we believe rather than just sitting back and serving people and loving them and letting God speak rather than 
us, you know. But we came again, and we did that, and we've grown and, and we've we've matured. And like you said, I think a lot of people they expect a little bit more from you because you're in that spot. Yeah. And now we, we I've it's like we wanted so bad to prove that this is what we believe in, it's what we stand for. I'll die for the things that I believe in right now, without a shadow of a doubt. I know that. I'm I, I'm not. I'm not afraid of that. Right. I know God's got me covered. I've never been afraid to die for the things that I believe in. But now, through all these years, like you said, now it's about living it. It's harder to live it for, exactly. for me. Yeah. I, I, that's how it's been. And I, and I never knew that until I started living it. And then, you know, I started going through this whole industry and the business and, and rock and roll and seeing things and just being in the midst. It's just like, oh, man, you know. I want to get into this world to to impact it, but now it's like I just got to live through it myself and make it out myself. Yeah. And that's where I come, you know, I'm challenged now and the, the things that we've talked about is like I just want people to pray for us and for and for our band because you know, before it was always like how can we change the world and how can we, you know, uh speak the truth to people now it's just like okay we know the truth now we just got to live it and make it out the darkness ourselves you know yeah. but in the times and, and i get in those places where it's like i told guido this i said i just you know sometimes i just want to crawl up in my bed with my wife and my kids and just wait just wait it out you know <laughs> <laughs> but then he's like when are you gonna but you got to get up yeah you're right on the edge man. Yeah. <laughs> you're in the trenches you're in the trenches that's what you're called to. yeah he said you got to get up man you got to get up and keep and continue to fight this this war and you know, I think that's kind of like my mentality right now is, you know, there's already the war going on, man. You just got to get up and not only hold your ground, but, you know, you got to grab as many people as you can. And I know I, I shared this analogy with you before, but, you know, I always thought that POD was that we're in that place where we were just on the, the front lines all the time and, you know, we weren't so far into the kingdom and so far into the world but yet we were just on the front lines because that's what we knew yeah. <clears throat> we used to call ourselves catfish christians because you know we all, we were, were bottom feeders ourselves you know we always thought you know that's we're not going to try to hang out at the top of the tank and around the corals and the reef we're going to hang out at the bottom because that's what we understand you know and in that you know and at the bottom that's where we'll, we'll we'll find we'll find what we need you know and bring those people to the lord and you know, we always felt that we were on the front line and it was like one arm, this arm and this leg into the kingdom and this arm and this leg on the other side just trying to pull people in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we always thought it, we thought it was easy, we thought it was simple just to pull people in, but yet now we're asking for people to hold on tight, oh, you know, right. <laughs> keep holding so on. So you can get pulled in. Exactly, so that we can share with people. And yeah, we learn as we go, man, but... You know, God is always the same, no matter what we go through, no matter what we do. You know, God has been good and He's been faithful. You know, to me since the, you know, even before the day, you know, my mom died. But you know, yeah. His blessings are are awesome, and I mean, just the comfort that 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 I have and the peace of mind that I have, even in this crazy world. You know, that's the hope that I I lean on every day. You know, I never, I never doubt my faith. I never question my faith. I doubt myself. I question myself sometimes, but I never doubt who God is. I know who God is, and I, I hope that that people would understand, you know, the God that I know, and that they would love the God that I know.